how does it ultimately get harmonized between what happens in some of these states that are moving and some will look like the California law, some will look a little bit more like GDPR. How does it ultimately get, how does it shake out and how does it get harmonized? You know, for, again, thinking in behalf, you know, in terms of your company's trying to figure out where this is headed. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, well, the risk is that it doesn't, right? <laughs> that, that, that states keep legislating in this space for whatever reason, uh, Congress doesn't take action to, to harmonize them. Um, and companies are gonna have to figure out um, and it's not going to be easy. You know, people complain about, you know, long privacy policies today. Imagine when, you know, you have to have privacy policies that meet 30 different state laws, all of which are going to be a little bit different. You're either going to have, you know, the, the, the Illinois or the California or the Washington or the Oklahoma privacy notice, which is going to create more work and, and challenges for companies. Um, or you're going to have to try to, create one monster monster document that's going to meet the requirements of all of them and you know we're already doing this as, as companies you know are, are operating globally um, you know we've got lots of different privacy laws around the world that um, that, that companies need to think about and, and in some way rationalize and figure out how they can operate a business while complying with these various and disparate requirements um, but the state, uh, trajectory is just going to make that that much more complicated, which, as I mentioned, is going to put pressure on Congress to act. So, you know, the big fights in Congress around legislation are not necessarily going to be around the substantive requirements. They're going to be around preemption and they're going to be around enforcement, specifically whether there's a private right of action. And um, that, that, that preemption issue is going to be challenging. The, 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 the bill that was dropped. Um, uh, last week by Representative Del Bene um, has federal preemption. It would wipe out the California laws. It would wipe out the Virginia law. Um, but there's going to be huge pushback on that because the consumer advocates are going to say you are weakening privacy requirements for California consumers. Um, and there's there's going to be a lot of pushback on that. And so you know, where does that land? Is that going to put pressure to make the substantive requirements more robust as a trade-off for getting preemption? Probably. Um, you know, we will likely see, even if there is preemption of, of substantive requirements at the state level, we will likely see a role for state AGs in enforcing whatever federal standard emerges. And then, um, you know, the question will also be whether that goes one step further and gives um, the plaintiffs bar the right to bring uh, class action cases um, under under a federal law. So, um, you know, I don't I don't know exactly how this is going to play out. I know I know where the issues are and where the fights are going to be. Um, but, you know, as I said, with competition, this isn't necessarily a partisan issue anymore. We have a number of Republicans who have said, um, you know, very very pro-regulatory things in the privacy space as well. And, and, you know, for many of the same reasons that the, there's a distrust of some of these um, large tech companies and how they're collecting data and what they're doing with data. So um, it will be uh, an interesting uh, couple of years.